This is spinal tape. Calling our planets. Police cunts. Feeling lucky today. All the empty spaces are filled with flowers today. Go, little late track. You're almost home. Oops, that's free! And the Abbey Road 8 track rolls away forever down Abbey Road itself. Honey, I have some 8 tracks to show you today. Oh, yes? You have some 8 tracks here. Oh, and one is the faces. Ooh, la la! And the other is the faces. A nod's as good as a wink to a blind horse. Actually, my father thought of that. Mmm, wasn't Rod Stewart at all. <laughs> Would you like to have them back to sell them and give me the money? <laughs> oh no, I'd like you to have them. Oh. No, 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 no. I want you to have them. But they're really far too nice for me. I don't deserve them! <laughs> oh, yes, you do! <laughs> what a bastard! And yet, so much of your creative work is preserved forever. Really? On dusty do you have you Yeah. Them? Small faces, large faces. Really? I've seen Mahoney's Last Stand. Your t little troublemaker no. album, I like to believe. Don't spoil it for me. Really? Look at this. Elvis, we're bigger than you. Long ain't bulls, I'm bigger than you, and I got here first. But Elvis, we're bigger than Jesus. Don't care, bulls, don't be sacrilegious. The Battle of the Titans. <laughs> we're here tonight with Jim Dandy Mangrum, one of the greatest live entertainers of this or any other time. Jim Dandy, you were there in the 70s when they made these eight track tapes. Tell us what you think about them. Do you miss them at all? Hey man, I know I look. Do I miss what? Eight track tapes. Here we go, we got one. A song gets cut in half. Oh, I was looking part for Part one, one and part two. That's the great thing about eight tracks. Which, you which get, song you is get, that? You get to hear a song fade out and then fade up again on the once it changes over to the other track. Book I read, beginning it says. Oh no, no, fourth track. Book I read, conclusion. Eight tracks. I'm rich! I'm rich! I'm rich! I love it! I've got all the eight tracks in the world! I'm kind of pissed off that, you know, it's kind of like a conspiracy just like the Kennedy assassination. Why were we deprived of the best way to hear music in a car when they took away 8-track? I'm kind of confused about it. Now, i got to admit, the whole thing where it switches from track to track, I'm not really happy about that. But, there's never been a better audio medium than 8-track for driving a car in Georgia, preferably a Camaro. Mr. Burnett, it's nice talking today on June 26th. 1996, about seven minutes after five in your wristwatch, Central Time, in the beautiful Denton Holiday Inn Hotel, which has many memories. Uh, I think I once did have an 8-track. I, I call the 8-track, uh, too bad that they disappeared so fast, because uh, uh, I call these funeral boxes, you know, uh, you know, portable mini funeral boxes in the hand. What's your favorite thing about planet Earth? Hi, my name is Donna Rose, and I have here with me my Brian Eno 8-track collection. That's about my favorite collection I have of 8-tracks. Um, this one, <clears throat> Taking Tiger Mountain by Strategy. Um, everything is good on this one, but I especially like for the straw and the baby. Here we have another green world, and it's real nice and helps me calm down when I'm excited and when I want to go to sleep, I listen to that one. I've got um, 
Before and After Science, and it's got a song on here called Spider and I that I that I really like. Everything is good on it too, but this is my personal favorite. Here come the Warm Jets. Everything's really good on this one too, and uh, uh, especially like Here Come the Warm Jets that I hummed out loud one time in the pool hall for everybody who was in there playing pool. Hey Tina, you're never gonna guess what I picked up today. What's that? Well, imagine my surprise when I found these his and hers Talking Heads 77 eight tracks. The real thing. Did either one of you ever have an eight track player in your life? Never. Yes. And I can honestly say that um, I don't believe the Velvet Underground has any representation in the eight track format, which doesn't imply that I'm either for or against that format. Uh, I know that I've never received a penny in royalties from 8-track sales than how much have I received from album sales. Hey, do you ever think about putting an 8-track player in this limo? An 8-track? Uh-huh. No one has 8-track tapes anymore, though. I can supply you with 8-track tapes. He's not a slacker, he's a tracker. <laughs> An 8-tracker. <laughs> <laughs> Hank Rawls, Big 8. Thank you. Okay, we're rolling. These wonderful goodies here, eh? And here we go. I bet you see these 8-tracks all the time, don't you? <laughs> Everywhere you go, no quarter 8-track and a coda 8-track. That's really good. You said you had an 8-track player on your yacht once? On a boat. You're squeezing me. So, the most unexpected thing of all happened. Uh, I opened the world's first 8-track museum on Christmas Day 2010. 2010 is the 45th anniversary of 1965, the birth of the 8-track. And we had a great opening. We had another grand opening on Valentine's Day 2011, and it was a release party for a super limited edition Tom Tom Club 8-track that I've released on my Cloud 8 label through the museum. Chris France and Tina Weymouth showed up and signed the 8-tracks, so we all had a blast. So now there's an 8-track museum on your planet. Deal with it. This is what started it all. I bought 500 sealed copies of the Ruddles soundtrack on 8-track with the original shipping cartons in uh, 2003 and thought to myself, someday I'd like to have a museum for those. Turns out, I do. This is probably my favorite item in the 8-Track Museum. It's a gigantic copy of Metal Machine Music by Lou Reed that I had created for the museum. It's one of my favorite albums, probably one of yours. And uh, I wrote Lou Reed a letter through a mutual friend and he actually sent me a very nice email back thanking me for putting this in the museum. And uh, he actually made a few comments about the album, which is rare for him to do. And my favorite quote was he said, four sides because they were and are different. So I love the Big Lou and I love that Big Lou knows about the Big Lou, so rock on Metal Machine. The Christian Rapture. Mm -hmm. Will the gospel eight tracks that are still left on earth ascend into heaven while the secular eight tracks are left behind? Uh, no, I don't think, I don't think any uh, sort of material objects would, would go, but all I can say is I hope that rapture comes soon because those people, I want those people up. I want them out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
calling our planets. 